In this video, guys, we're gonna look at the different order types in MT4. Your buy stops to get into the trade, sell stops to get into the trade, buy limit, sell limit, market orders, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna hit the screens in a moment. Stick around. Hey guys, one welcome to you. All right, so I'm gonna use the MT4 platform in a moment on the screens. These are our channel sponsor. If you wanna check them out, there's a link in the description below. Multi-regulated, loads of markets, easy account opening process, and of course, you get to use MT4, which is what we'll look at in a moment. Now, why would you use different order types? We'll see why you might want to use a buy stop to get into a trade, sell stops to get into a trade, how they differ from a buy limit, what a market order is all about, how we attach stops to that. So we'll go to the platform now and we'll check it out. Account within MT4. I've got a couple of charts up. I'm going to run through really, guys, just setting an order, putting your order through. The differences as well between placing a buy stop, sell stop to get it into a trade, uh, how you attach the buy stop to a trade, if it's a short trade, for example, how you took your take profit area, all that kind of stuff. So let's say we are monitoring cable here. So we're GBP USD and we want it to place an order. So we can click new order. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that the symbol is the right symbol that we've got up here. There is a drop down menu which will uh, basically fill depending on what you've got in your market watch and you better select whatever. So just double check that that's correct. If you, if you select it from the chart, you'll be fine. Now, let's look at volume. So these are quoted in uh, lots. So basically one standard lot is 100,000 units of currency. Uh, we can then go down right down to you know, one micro lot, which is 1,000 units of currency, or we can pump in our own and go, you know, let's say to a mini lot, which is 10,000 units of currency. So let's just say, for example, that we're gonna do uh, one standard lot, 100,000 units of currency. Then a standard lot is $10 a pip. So this is going to be $10 a pip for GBP USD. If we went to 1, 0.1, then it would down to $1 a pip. If a micro lot, which is 0.01, it'd be down to 10 cents a pip. So uh, we can select how we want. So make sure you understand the sizing with that. All right, so let's go to our volume. Let's say we're going to select a, a one standard lot here. So. When, if we're trading a market order, let's look at a market order for now, we're gonna select instant execution. So that is basically saying, hey, you know what? I want to get in now, whether we're going long on the buy side or going short by selling here. That is basically saying, hey, I'm not too concerned about price. I'm prepared to take um, whatever price it is at the moment that I'm quoted. You can see the bid and the offer here. Uh, and I just wanna get in now. So that's why it's instant ex execution, otherwise known as a market order. Uh, if you were to be more concerned about price and you wanted to wait for a specific price, then you would use um, a pending order, which would be a limit order. And we'll go through that in a moment. So anyway, so if you wanted a market order, which means I want to get in now, since I want to get long now, one lot on GBP USD, I can enter the order here straight away, fine. If I want to add a stop loss, so let's say I want to add a stop loss down here at, uh, let's say 1.22. So I could just pump in 1.22. Uh, on the here, or I could use the, the buttons to scroll up and down. I can have a take profit as well. So let's say I want to go to 1.25, for example. So now I've basically bracketed up my order and said, okay, I'm going to go long here. I've got my one standard lot loaded up. It's cable, GBP USD. My stop loss is at 122. That's what my stop loss and my target is going to be 125. And I just hit the buy button and that will go through and that will be straight into my blotter. Okay, so if I wanted now to uh, use a pending order. So a pending order, uh, we've got some choices here. So we've got a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. So a buy limit, let's just let's keep an example for now that we're gonna go long. So if we're going to go long on GBP USD, i.e. we think that the price is gonna rise higher and we want to profit from that move, but we don't wanna get in now. Let's say we wanted to wait for the market to come down and let's say test this level here, this 122, um, 1.225 level, for example, round about here. Um, but we, we didn't want to buy it until then. So we could put a buy limit in at 1.225, and that would give us a buy level here and would only execute then if the price came down. If the price carried on moving up, we wouldn't get filled. If it came down and filled us, 
it would then be triggered and then our stop loss, which was still 1.22, we could adjust it, of course, a little bit lower, um, but that might be a bit tight for us for this circumstance. We could, again, you know, just adjust it to 1.21, whatever it may be, I take profit can be there. And that won't and that won't trigger unless that price is hit. So the price has got to come down towards us to get that fill. Now, another way that we could get long is we can use a buy stop. So a buy stop is basically uh, similar. It's not gonna be triggered until a certain price is hit, but it's the other way around. In other words, it will trigger as price goes through it to the upside. So great for if you're taking a breakout trade. So let's say you're looking to take out that breakout at one point two four. Let's just say one. Let's just say one point two four three. Okay. You'd put your uh, uh, price in here, one point two four three, and that would then trigger only if the price broke through that level. So as the price starts to lift up, you would then be long, it would trigger, it would add your stop loss in, you'll take profit levels in just like normal. So this is great for trading a breakout of a range, a breakout of a high, or if you wanna trade something that you don't wanna get in unless a level is broken. So if you bracketed a range, any of those type of things, you don't wanna get in if prices show commitment in your direction. So it seems a bit counterintuitive because it's called a stop, um, normally we attach a stop to a trade like we've done here, stop loss to a trade, but this is really getting into a position if the price is going in our favor, breaks a level, limit the other way around, the price has got to come down to it. And it's the same the other way around, guys. If we are going short, we'd have a sell limit above the price. So let's say we, we wanted to go short up here, we just put in 1.26. If the price got up there and tagged it, we'd be in with our stop loss above the high. Obviously, we're buying to cover a short uh, and we're buying against cover a short profit. So it could be in here, stop loss above, take profit here. And the same kind of thing with the stop, the sell stop. Let's say we wanted to only sell it if it went through this low 1.2246. We'd have a sell stop in, we'd pump that, pump that uh, price into here and we put our stop loss and take profits uh, as we preferred. Then as price started to roll over and went through the level, bang, we're in. So there's different ways and flexibilities of taking a trade. Your first one is market where you don't really care about price. You wanna get in now. Perhaps you're trading a momentum type trade, a little bit of a flag, you see it going, you're an intraday trader, you're kind of aggressive scalper, you're in, and you can attach a stop loss or take profit to that as you prefer. Maybe you want to wait for the price to come down to a better price level, in which case you're gonna use a buy limit or sell limit, depending if you're going long or short. And then buy stops or sell stops are looking when the price is going in your direction, so to speak, so you're long, it's going up and then it continues to break. So again, that would be more of a breakout type trade rather than a kind of mean reversion type setup. So those are the main things, guys. That's the order window. Very easy, very simple to get your head around. Just make sure you've got your volume set up for the volume you, you want to trade. Make sure you've got your symbol in there. Make sure your stop losses at the correct levels, all these bits and pieces. You can also add a comment as well to the trade and that'll come in your blotter uh, down here once it's filled. Uh, so you can say, hey, this is a breakout trade on, a, on an H1 time frame. Uh, this is a, a flag type trade. This is a mean reversion Bollinger Band extension trade. Whatever you want to do, you can add a comment to that if you wish, uh, and then just fire it through and you're away. Take care, guys. Don't forget to check out our channel. Super simple to open the account. Uh, multi regulated, heaps of markets offered, and of course, they're able to use the MT4 platform. So go and check them out. It's linked in the description below. Keep the risk managed. Whatever you're doing, that's what your stop loss is for. Take care, guys. Bye bye.